Hello lovely friends, here's a quick glimpse at the exploding stardust acrylic painting. So now we're taking our galaxy to the next level with spray paint to create stardust. Part one, which is what you just saw there, a little glimpse of, we explored the basic techniques for creating a beautiful galaxy pool acrylic painting. And I'll put part two, if you click on it at the top, I'll put it at the end of the video for you too, and in the description below, so you'll have the two together if you want to go back and see the original painting process. And now we're going to take our cosmic canvas with our Pebio paints, spray paints, and we're going to take it a step further. That's the first time I've used spray paints. I've been experimenting with them and it's the first canvas that I'm using them on. So this is very exciting and I don't know how it's going to turn out and there are a couple of disasters along the way. So come with me as we have a look and take this step together. So we'll be adding some explosive elements here. I mean, incorporating some spray paint and sprinkling of stardust to transform it um, into a different scene. So I'm using the black Pebio at the moment and I'm just literally, you can see down the bottom, I've just literally started that, that corner just before I videoed this for you today. And I'm just erasing part of the pore that I didn't want. And I'm using the spray paint along the bottom of this top part of the universe to give a, a sort of a faded edge to it. And it makes it feel a bit more galaxy, a little bit more. Because you think about what this, what space is like, it's not just black. So lots of stuff floating around, there's lots of stardust, there's lots of stars. It's so involved. And the more I've been looking into the galaxy and pictures about it and photographs and other pools, I've noticed just how much there is. So this is the white going down now, the white Pebio spray paint. It was a lot of fun to work with. And as you can see, I'm outside, so it's fully ventilated. I still wore gloves and a mask and glasses because there's a bit of wind around um, but also i think i would because you know when you lick your lips or you um you know you're you're touching your face if you've got protection on you don't have to think about that um because little bits of the spray does get onto you it gets all over you so i'm doing the star now and all I'm doing there is literally a tiny little spray because I want a faded looking star, not like a really, really bright one because I'm going to start painting in the centre shortly. So now I'm laying down the stencil to create my planet. And this is the bit that I did not know how it was going to go and it was a complete experiment, but you can only experiment on a real painting. So I had experimented on a couple before this, but I was really going for it. So using the white, I'm trying to create a shadow and a light over the planet. And the size planet I chose today was two and a half inches um, diameter. And now I'm using the black to create the dark at the bottom of the planet. Now, I'm just gonna leave you some music and some spray sounds and some natural audio today of how what happened. There's the copper, um, just, just before I go, just to show you that I put a tiny bit of copper on the top because there's copper running through this galaxy pool. Um, so just before I go, I'm just gonna show you that actually I did the planet once or twice because it wasn't quite right. It wasn't quite right with the shading. It just didn't look right and there's something around it. So I'm doing it again for the second time. So enjoy the process as you watch the planet come together. And as I give you some detail visually with the star and the stardust. So I'm using a stencil now to get quite close to the canvas because I'd like an impactful lot of stardust 
and I'm layering it up with different coloured spray paints to create that shading and to create that star galaxy look. Some of the vibrancy in the colours, you'll probably see as I spray, fade slightly. So what I'm doing is I'm going over the, the underneath pore with a, a damp cloth, just water, a little bit of water on it, just damp. And I'm rubbing over the parts that I want to keep vibrant so you can see the iridescent blues and the golds and the reds are still coming through. But I'm choosing what comes through, which is quite cool. Um, so using the spray paint in the black, I'm now going over some of the white and when you first put it down, it's very, very wet. So it looks a little bit darker to begin with, but it all fades in and I layer it upon layer until I get the effect that I'm looking for. Okay, so as you see the spray landing, can you see how some of it is larger? Now when you use a, I haven't actually used one, but when I've seen one of those pencil spray paints being used it's very very accurate and you can go in and, and use it in different ways when you're using this what i love about this is that depending on how you spray it you can get larger stars on the painting um, and if i don't want that i'll have it further away erasing the planet for the last time i'm going to show you now as i in a moment or two, do a bit of detail with the star. And I finally realised where I'd been going wrong. It was all about where light shines in space. It just didn't look right. Being that high up in the painting, having white above, because the stardust and the light was coming through the painting in a different way. So just enjoy as I erase this planet so I'll be back shortly to show you exactly how I do that Here I am using that damp cloth to create some of the vibrancy and bring the colours from below. And I really want any parts of it to really be vibrant so that the light going across this part of the planet and the galaxy fits with the whole painting. So I'm using the white now and I finally realised that actually if it comes from the right hand side it fits and it works really well. So the white is creating that light shining from the right hand side of the painting and then the dark black, I only wanted a small part of that on the, the left hand side. And I'm going to use my copper to do a bit more of, shading, of the shading on the white hand side, um, which is all white. A little bit fiddly and I'm just using the damp cloth just to 
get rid of anything I don't want. Can you see that I've, it's really vibrant now around the planet and it's really highlighting it? But it's not quite there. So I'm going to put the stencil back on. And I want to create a little more, bit more shading. So can you see that lovely lacing that had ha come through before? All that has been wiped away, so there's no stardust on it, or very little. So I'm putting the stencil back on. So be really careful that it's clean from underneath. And just really gently put on, because with the spray paint it leaves marks everywhere. So a little bit more white. Um, you really need to practice not on a painting to begin with, but on a, a board or a piece of cardboard or something beforehand, because you can then see how far the paint can needs to be held away from a stencil, away from a painting to have different effects. So the copper, just a tiny weeny bit there on the white is then exactly how I wanted it. Can you see it? It's a tiny bit of copper. And then I can then add a bit more copper around it to tie in with the rest of the copper that's running through the lacing. So just enjoy this process and I'll show you as we come towards the, the filling in of the star. I'm just getting some titanium white on a really fine nibbed paintbrush. I'm just dotting the middle and I'm just doing a line up, down to the side and then a tiny bit in the opposing corners just to give that star effect. So as we finish up the star, we're pretty much there and all I need to do now is varnish this painting. This painting is going to be donated for a charity event that I'm doing with my choir and they're raising money to have an electronic robotic arm um, given to our local hospital in Cornwall, UK because it's one of the only hospitals in Britain that doesn't have one. So, they're an amazing choir, they do so many different charity events and the least I can do is donate a painting to raise some money and it's an absolute honour to do so. 
So this painting signifies hope and a bright future and what is to come. So I just want to say thank you so much for being here today. I've really, really enjoyed this journey. It's the first time I've used this type of mixed media and I'm just so excited to try some more. So have a great day. I hope you're having a creative time. Take care of yourselves, whatever you're doing. And don't forget, you can do it. Just put your mind to it and the rest will follow. I hope to see you again soon. Take care now. Bye.